unifying the world of commerce and making it shoppable. Susan, the founder of MCART, is with us. I am so excited about this because we all love shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes. We sure do. That's the only experience <laughs> that you never quit. <laughs> you know? That's a good point. <laughs> yes. You shop your whole life. You quit huh? exercising, you quit love, you quit dating, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, but you shopping. never quit shopping. <laughs> it's true. It really doesn't matter how for sad or happy you are. Yes. It's a definitely a devotion for yes. sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Makes you feel good. Yeah. Anyway. So tell us about your platform. What, how, how do you interact? How do you help people interact with shopping? Well, making the world shoppable. Do you remember that uh, green Versace dress of JLo in Grammy 2000? Of course. Who can forget yeah. that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That actually the CEO of Google confessed that they started uh, thinking and uh, working on Google image search because of that dress and the volume of search inquiries who was coming to Google wow. searching for JLo green dress mm -hmm. in Grammy 2000. So. But when you look at the experience, you see that the content has a strong emotional connection uh, between, it uh, creates an emotional connection between consumers and products. But all you can do or all you, you're able to do is going to Google or Amazon and search for that long tail keyword. This is not an efficient experience. You should be able to buy from that content right there. Mm. So you mean I could watch something and then just buy it without Googling it? Yeah. Wow. Do you want okay. me to show the experience? Yes. Yeah. So what is okay. this? What's happening? This is the M card that our marketing team, our customers, uh, FXG, uh, FX Group um, ha is an agency behind the red carpet shows okay. in the United States. And uh, this was a red carpet show that you guys were uh, that, attending. Yeah, we did. And yeah. our marketing team created that. Actually, I encourage your viewers to scan that QR code. If you can zoom it, it's better. But if That you is so cool. If you can zoom it, you see? I. I scanned it with my camera. Mm -hmm. Just make your iPhone camera, uh, okay. yeah, zoom to that like this. Yeah. Okay. Right. So then they can uh, and yeah. then uh -huh. I draw. This is too far. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. All the the outfits that you have yeah, are right on there. Are on here. And you can just click and then purchase. Yes. You find similar ones. That yes. You want. Someone created an M card in a matter of honestly five minutes. I asked the marketing team to connect our, contact our customers and ask them for that picture to create an M card. Wow. And they did. And now your viewers can scan off of that screen. That's and amazing. And buy oh, those wow. products right there. Wow. However, so however it gets better. Because when, when you go to each product, you only, you see the coupons relevant to those, uh, to oh. that specific I dress that they picked up that's mine. I know, that's sorry, that's it might not be, you that's might not that's be that's happy so because, no, no, you know, no, no. it might be something so similar. We didn't know. Pull it up because that's a dress from a secondhand designer store, right? So <laughs> how do they pull, and that's so fascinating. That However, a similar one. A similar one, it, right? It's amazing. Yeah, it's but we have the inventory of Walmart to Neiman Marcus of the world. So it's a huge inventory, 95%, 90% of the U.S. retail sales today is still happening in brick and mortar. Mm, Only 5% of it is in Amazon. What? So if you go and search Amazon, you don't have that many choices. But if that's what we did, we're unifying the inventory of all of these big retailers and, into one inventory, and we're giving our software to media companies to start their own Amazon. Wow. wow. Plus Pinterest and plus Uber for research. So you're going to be an official wow. Good Morning La La Land. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shoppable well, experience. You guys need to, every time that you have a show, you should do an M card and put that QR code under there because now you know where you bought your dresses. It's easier than, you know, our people to go and, you know, find similar stuff in there, right? Do we get a cut of that? Oh, that's the whole purpose. <laughs> You're influencing people to buy your outfit. He's this is a curated. Off. This is yeah. your retirement <laughs> coming up right exactly. that's Honestly, this is curated yeah. content. Confirming. You have spent time mm -hmm. to put that content I'm together. Tired. Give me that. Your outfit is a content. Absolutely. Whatever the hell love it's called. This. Right? So, love this. Absolutely love this. What's been the most challenging part about starting and sort of developing the business? <sighs> Eight years of my life. Yeah. You know, I started, um, everything started with my research in Stanford Graduate School of Business. I went to school at age 40. So I was not that young, but I still rest rest. <laughs> so I went back to school when I had a three years old daughter and happily uh, ever after married. And the first week of the school, I realized, oh my God, my closet hasn't been configured for student life. I'm always overdressed showing up to a class because I exited two companies. Yeah. You know, I used to, I, I, I was an entrepreneur before going to school. I was not that young. So I went online to buy some jeans, 
um, and cheap mm -hmm. t-shirts and stuff. I don't know what happened, but I ended up buying seven pairs of jeans. Mm. And after that, it became my nightmare because those cheap jeans were chasing me, following me everywhere I was, I was going. Like in my browsers, my email, yes. mail. I don't want to buy cheap jeans anymore. I'm good <laughs> for the whole entire program, yeah. seven pairs of jeans. But they were following me for the entire time of the program. And then I realized this is not efficient. You know, I, I hate push advertising. I hate people shadowing me. I hate yeah, these just companies targeting me and right. spamming me with the information that I don't have bandwidth or interest mm. to process. Mm -hmm. So how we can change this? Why, why is still push advertising? And when I look at the retails and advertisers' life, you're hearing from Google research um, six months ago that 60% of the advertising dollars goes on actually gets flushed down the toilet, mm -hmm. right? So 60% of the advertising, two, $20 billion bot generated click through. The banner ads you see everywhere, there are robots sitting somewhere in the world mm -hmm. clicking on them and advertisers are paying for that. Mm -hmm. These phony metrics, I mean, I hated it. My, my parents in Iran mm -hmm. um, in 60s started maybe the first advertising agency in Iran. And I was looking at these advertising models that they're targeting and retargeting and shadowing people. And I thought they're not that different with my parents' times advertising, you know, who get it or regret it type of advertising. Mm. Someone needs to change them. So I thought that what is really interesting here that I can bring to the world of advertising and shopping and commerce, content. And I used to be a journalist. Uh. So I thought that content is still the king, a king that you can't sell, but it still can sell. So what you're, right, right, that, right, so what you're right. saying is, so someone who can get the code and they don't pay for advertising, they just put the code on. When there's a sale, then it goes. We track every every M card as a shopping cart, right? You see these silo shopping carts when you go online and you finish your shopping, mm. you check out, and they're gone. You spend time on creating that content. So we allow you to have carry your personal shopping cart everywhere into. 1,200 stores that today we're supporting by the end of 2019, right? Walmart to name and markets of the world. Put your items in your shopping cart, and when you want to, you can check out or not, but the cart has a unique ID and gives you all the tools that you need to promote it. Link, widgets, QR code, anything that you need. And forever, that M card, wherever it goes, mm -hmm. to Facebook, Instagram, video, YouTube, Hollywood, Vogue magazine, anywhere that it goes, we're tracking that sales for you and we deposit the commission in your digital wallet. It's brilliant. brilliant. Wow. Generated We've been advertising. waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. a long time. Eight years of my life, seven years of my team. We have five PhD of computer science in our team. Over 50 developers work on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have over 160 API engines behind that. And my PR director told me that please don't use these terminologies, but I want to give you an example. <laughs> Some of these social media, for example, like Instagram or whatever, if you look at them, they may have 40 API engines, right? So it's a huge, huge platform because we're really practically closing the gap between online and offline shopping, mm. sales, and advertising. So we're bringing media and commerce together, Ooh. product and content together. We allow these media companies who are actually today working for Amazon and Google because they're creating content that impress people and create that impression, but then they hand over that potential revenue to search, to search in Amazon and Google. And people, and they, now they can actually make money out of that content. Wow. Just you're looking at the, right. you're shopping wow. the future right yes. now. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Susan. Thank Tell you. everyone where they can find and follow or create their cart. Yeah. Uh, go to mcart.io, our main website. We have one pilot mer uh, marketplace right now for our first customer. As I said, they are the agency behind a major red carpet shows in the United States. But we're talking to, I can't say, I wish I could say, a med many media companies right now. The, Fortune 50 companies, and probably by 2019, there are at least 20 of these marketplaces out there. But you don't care. You just scan the QR code. We take you to the right marketplace, right shopping cart, right influencers, and we give. We we do everything on 
blockchain tracking payments mm -hmm. you know uh, distribution of the commission between levels of influencers and all of that we do all of that all you need to do is creating a shopping cart but don't throw it away after checkout mm -hmm. keep it and use it and monetize your content with that your beautiful Absolutely. outfit can make money for the next 200 years. Oh, Boom. Our so video is in YouTube. <laughs> wow, awesome. we love it. Well, thank you so much for, thank for you. sharing that with us. We're super excited about it. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in Good Morning La La Land. Thank you.